Hey guys, welcome to another unscripted review here at Level Down Reviews. Now I'm sorry that this is being posted at the end of the week as compared to the beginning of the week, which was kind of when I was hoping to do a review on all this stuff, but I kind of got busy with stuff at work, as well as being busy recording and editing other videos for the channel, as well as kind of getting a little sick. Everyone's getting sick around me, so eventually I had to get something from them, because that's how life works out. So if you saw last week's video on Loot Crate, click right there if you want to watch it, you saw me wearing this, and you might have had a general idea that we were going to be doing some Proto Man and or Mega Man related stuff. So, we are, and all this has been in the works for about two and a half years. Yeah, originally this channel was going to be started about like two, two and a half years ago with a friend of mine at work, but then he decided he didn't do so well on camera, he hated his voice, and then he abandoned me. Why? Kitties, if you plan on starting a YouTube channel and you hate your voice, give it some time, you'll get used to it eventually, because I sure as heck have. So, what we're going to be reviewing is first going to be the helmets. This is going to be kind of a two-part review because it's going to be kind of short. I'm going to judge both of them separately. So, yeah, the helmets, plush, helmets, cloth, whatever you want to consider them. I want to, probably cloth. Why am I saying plush? These are plush. Uh, but yeah, these are cloth helmets. Poor, poor man's uh, attempts at cosplay. Actually, I probably have seen worse cosplay attempts than uh, just getting this for a brown bear. I think these are around $15 to $20. I want to say this is $20 and this is $15, but I could be wrong. It could be flip-flop. Because I want to think Proto Man is a little more expensive. But overall, for both of these, I think they're pretty nice. I mean, I can have a little bit nitpicky things that I can say. The main thing is, like, in the ears, which I will transition to a close-up of. It's like, in the ears, these, like, black lines and all that. And just the inside of these ear segments seem just a little bit off to me. I'm not sure if it's too far off from designs and all that, but for me it just looks a little bit off in my head. Also for the Mega Man helmet, which I'm wearing, which mind you, I'm more of a Mega Man X person than the original Mega Man, so my memories of that is non-existent. I think this little front portion should be down a little bit more. Then again, like I said, that could be like the Mega Man X design as compared to the original Mega Man, because maybe the original Mega Man was a little bit less spike in words. I, I can't think of the proper words. But let's look at the Proto Man hat quickly because I think pretty much I have I don't have a whole lot to say on the actual Mega Man one. I mean, overall I'm sorry for the helmet hair probably. I wanted to comb it, but it's more probably hilarious for me to uh, not comb it. Either that's really sweaty. I don't know. But yeah, overall it's like I, I don't I like the helmet. Like I said, it's the same problem as like with the Proto Man thing that I'm, I showed you earlier. It's like just some, just the little lines inside that just seems a little bit off. As for the Proto Man helmet, I should put Mega Man's helmet with the Mega Buster. Also, I need to quit being drunk and actually put the helmet on now. Which is kind of weird because I have glasses and he has uh, shades on. Let's, let's fix that problem. So yeah, you saw me wear this last week. Overall, it's pretty nice. The main thing that I like that I'm happy they did, you can remove the shades. It, it's really easy. So if you want to be like a shadeless uh, Proto Man, you, you can do that. Or if your head isn't quite as large as mine and you need to adjust it, you can... It has uh, Velcro tips inside, so you can just like change it. So, you know, if you want to have like yeah, the shades up and just swoop. Or if you need to change it a little, like so, this isn't gonna work for me. I just, oh, I think I got it working. So yeah, so you, but the big problem with this one, besides like the similar ear things, which I showed you earlier was talking about, it's kind of flapping in this little area right here. It doesn't want to stay down. I don't know if it's just the model, the one that I got, if some other people might have it a little bit more down, but I've seen various photos of people that have the similar thing. See, my, I just want this a little bit more rigid and stick closely to my face as compared to kind of this flapping thing that it does. I mean, the Mega Man one kind of had that problem if you look back at when I was wearing this one, but with the Proto Man one, it's a little more obvious than with this one. And see, my, the main thing that could have fixed that would be like a strap 
that goes down and you put it around your chin, then again, that kind of probably look a little stupid, but with that, I mean, I have, like I said, minor complaint, like I said, maybe this should be down a little bit more further, protruding down. The ear sections are a little bit off in my head, and I, I really don't like the flapping thing, but overall, for like 50 to $20, I don't think it's not, it's not too bad. It's not the greatest thing. I'm sure if you're a bigger Mega Man fan, you might be able to point out more issues with this, but uh, I, I remember Mega Man X more so, and yeah, I, I don't see much, I don't see a lot of problems with it. Overall, if you're looking for just something kind of cheap, headwear, maybe you're doing a, I don't know, maybe you're doing a YouTube video on the YouTubes nowadays, you need to wear something stupid on your head, like I do all the time. And then, the things are a good option. It's not the best, I'm sh I can imagine it could be a little bit better, but overall, not too bad. So. With that, I have to give the cloth helmets. Am I holding this right? Yes, right way. This way. I have to give the cloth helmets are. Uh, what do I want to call it? I don't know. Let's call it. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's call it our Maverick Hunter rating of good. Also, yes, before anyone tells me, I know that Maverick Hunter is from the X series. I know. Don't kill me about it because I know. I had to come up with something. Let's see you do improv. But with those out of the way, with the elements out of the way, let's go to the uh, plush busters, which each of these cost around thirty dollars. I think when I bought them it was a little bit cheaper, but recently I checked and they're thirty dollars now. So overall, they're nice. They're big, even though kind of me. Whenever I look at this, I won't think it's Guts Man more than Proto Man, except for the fact. Uh, Gutsman had a hand, yeah. But again, sort of like just with the helmets where it's in the ear that looks like it's kind of a slight issue. Inside the busters, which in this one, as well as the Mega Buster over here, whenever you look inside, it just looks off because it has the same color design and you have like black lines inside. Just for me, it, it looks kind of off, but that's like the main aesthetic detail problem I have wrong with these. I mean, maybe you could have done a little bit better design on whatever these are technically called on the Mega Buster because seems like they should be an indention into the gun, not just a uh, design on the gun itself. I could be wrong on that because, like I said, I, I'm, I'm not all that big into it like I used to be. I mean, it has the buttons on this. They don't do anything. They're not raised up any which again that, that's probably another little slight problem it's not raised up or it's not an indention or anything it's not like not like the Mega Man helmet where you, you know it could, it could have been like that it could just be like a raised indention just push it push it but no it doesn't uh although I don't have the uh <laughs> there they came a little sticker clip thing with this that you have inside the busters a little handle and you can hold on to it and it comes with a little thing that tells you, if your hand gets stuck, make sure you do not hold on to that. That's the reason your hand is not coming up. And I don't know what type of idiotic person wouldn't realize that, but I can't pull my hand out. Well, I'm grabbing onto something, but I don't know why my hand is coming out. So, yeah. I don't have any more. Like I said, it's been like two and a half years since I originally bought these when I originally was going to do a review on them. Never thought I was going to do a review on them, so I didn't save it, unfortunately enough. So yeah, it's like both of them are pretty much the same in my mind. I mean, if you're a, like I said, with, even with the Mega Man helmets, if you're a bigger Mega Man fan, maybe, maybe you notice a little bit more aesthetic problems with these, but overall, again, they're nice. I mean, like I said, the biggest problem is with inside the busters and maybe there could be a little bit slight indention on Proto Man's buster and maybe the buttons could be raised up a little. Maybe there would be a way we could use two at the same time. It'd be freaking awesome, man. But we can't. But overall, they're not too bad. The biggest problem I have with it is like the... Uh, I, I want to say the price is a little bit high. Maybe not too high, but it just feels like it's a little bit high for what they are. Because it like I... There's different things I could get for around the same price that I would consider of higher quality and not just plush. But yeah, overall, I have to give them the same rating as I did with the helmets. I have to give these good. 
because, you know, I have to give them a good rating because uh, they're not too bad. They're not too bad at all. Just maybe a little bit pricey. So, yeah, it's our uh, non wily rating of good. So, there you go, guys. My quick rating of all of this Mega Man and Proto Man stuff that's been waiting around for me to review for like two, two and a half years. Sorry that these were probably pretty quick and probably pretty crummy at that, the review. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm still kind of getting used to reviewing items off the top of my head because, you know, it's unique. I could probably do games a lot better, but these are collectibles and items, so I, I'm not 100% sure on how to rate them and how to talk about them thoroughly yet, but give me time, guys. I am still learning. So yeah, if you happen to like this video, as always, please leave a like, comment, tell me what I can do to improve this show, this channel. Tell me what I should review next, because sooner or later, subscription boxes will not be the only thing I review here and there. So yeah, I'm open to suggestions, and as always, guys, thank you for watching. If without you guys, obviously, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Actually, I probably would, because I, I'm weird like that. So, next time on Unscripted Reviews, we'll be reviewing last month's, or this month, I can't remember which one taking place considered. Yeah, I think it's last month's arcade vlog, so stay tuned this week for that. So, here are some other videos that maybe you're interested in, and here is the subscription button. So, time for me to do the Mega Man exit and be myself out of here. Would you?